क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम गेट टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग पेपर सेट वन क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व बायोट नंबर सिग्निफाइज द रेशियो ऑफ ऑप्शन ए कन्वेक्टिव रेजिस्टेंस इन द फ्लूड टू कंडक्टिव रेजिस्टेंस इन द सॉलिड ऑप्शन बी कंडक्टिव रेजिस्टेंस इन द सॉलिड टू कंडक्टिव रेजिस्टेंस इन द फ्लूड ऑप्शन सी इनर्शिया फोर्स टू विस्कस फोर्स इन द फ्लूड और ऑप्शन डी बॉयसी फोर्स टू विस्कस फोर्स इन द फ्लूड लेट्स फाइंड आउट सो बायोट नंबर It's a dimensionless quantity used in the field of heat transfer to compare the conduction resistance within a solid body to the convection resistance external to that body. So we say conductive resistance because we are talking about solid body here. So of course the method of heat transfer will be conduction, and so we refer to conductive resistance within a solid body. It is being compared to the convective resistance in the exterior of the body. that is the convective resistance within the fluid that is surrounding the body it may be gaseous or liquid but it's the fluid that is surrounding the solid body and in order to compare these two types of terms we use biot number and the formula is written as biot number is conduction resistance upon convection resistance which is given by hl by k this can be derived by taking the ratio of conductive resistance to convective resistance where h denotes the convective heat transfer coefficient l denotes the characteristic length of the geometry under consideration and k denotes the thermal conductivity of the body so let's go back and mark the correct option we can see option b carefully reading the given option conductive resistance in the solid to convective resistance in the fluid because option a is kind of having the similar language but it denotes nusel number it's the concept related to nusel number while option b denotes biot number option c we clearly know it's inertia force to viscous force in the fluid which is reynolds number and option d buoyancy force to viscous force in the fluid is grashof number so a c and d are not related to biot number b is the correct one to learn about such terms in heat transfer you can refer to the nptel video lecture 10 transient conduction from the course heat transfer The course is by Professor Sunandu Das Gupta. He is from Department of Chemical Engineering of IIT Kharagpur. I hope this explanation will help you clear your doubt. Thank you.